Greetings everyone and welcome back. Meet Morse Master, a Morse code translator that can be controlled with a sleek web app or a tactile push button. This device is powered by the Raspberry Pi Pico W development board, allowing us to connect it to internet. We created a web app that allow user to enter any message which is then subsequently translated and outputted via the four 5mm LEDs linked to the Raspberry Pi Pico's I.O. pins. Furthermore, we have included a mechanical switch on the device that allow us to manually enter the Morse code. We designed the 3D model of the Morse code master in Fusion 360, borrowing inspiration from the real Morse code key devices used to type Morse code. Using one of our previously designed Raspberry Pi Pico expansion board PCB from a previous project, we use custom board to create a simple Raspberry Pi Pico W and 5M LED setup that would be used to display Morse code via the red LEDs. Now let's have a look at the expansion board PCB which was designed from scratch and then sent to PCBWay for samples. Expansion board order was placed for white solder mask and black silk screen. After placing the order, the PCBs were received within a week and the PCB quality was pretty great. PCBVA's commitment to quality and customer satisfaction has been unwavering, leading to significant growth and expansion. You guys can check out PCBVA if you want great PCB service at an affordable rate and low price. Let's have a look at some of the alphabets we attempted in putting into the website. We'll start with the letter A, which is represented by a dot followed by a dash. Next, we tried letter B, which is represented by a dash followed by three dots. We then entered letter C, which consists of a dash, a dot, and another dash, and a final dot. After mastering the code, we were able to pronounce hi in Morse code, which consists of H, four rapid blinks, followed by I, two quick blinks, with tiny intervals between each blink and somewhat longer break between two letters. This device allows you to translate sentences, character and alphabet into Morse code by accessing the web page or manually entering the Morse code using the onboard Morse code key configuration. The Morse code was created in early 1830s by Samuel Morse, an American artist and inventor and his collaborator Alfred Weil. It was initially developed as a way to send communication over large distances using telegraph a revolutionary communication instrument at time. The first version known as the American Morse code was employed dots and dashes to represent letters, numerals, and punctuations. In 1851, a more standardized form known as International Morse code was established to incorporate non-English characters and diacritical markings, making it appropriate for global use. This form became universal norm and it is still acknowledged today. The Morse key, also referred to a telegraph key, was a device for manually transmitting Morse code signals via telegraph lines. It consisted of a lever that could be depressed to complete an electrical circuit, letting the current flow and provide a signal. Operator would press the key to create short signals dot and hold it down for a longer signal which is dash. These messages were then sent to an electrical pulses across telegraph cable to receivers where they were decoded into letters, numbers and symbol. For the design of our project, we modeled our design after the Morse key, creating an enclosure that holds the Pico W circuit within. This comprises of a main body, a lid which we have attached to lever holder. We included a lever alongside the lever holder and one side of the lever, we included a knob similar to the one found on the Morse key, which allow the user to correctly grip the lever and operate the device. A mechanical blue switch has been added to the lever part and the lever is positioned above the mechanical switch. 
when lever is pressed down the switch toggles and a switch press is registered by the pico w our design follow the design language of the morse code key that has been used in past we printed the main body with transparent pla to diffuse the red color led glow the led part was printed with brown pla and the lever and the lever holder were printed with gray pla and the knob was printed with black pla the raspberry pi pico w a compact and versatile microcontroller that add wireless connectivity to the already popular pico series will be used as this project brain it is powered by the raspberry pi pico's rp2040 chip and has a dual core arm cortex m0 processor that can run at up to 133 megahertz making it both efficient and powerful for a variety of application This microcontroller which include a 2.5 GHz Wi-Fi was ideal for our Morse code translator device as our project utilizes a web app. We coupled the Pico W with our previously created Pico expansion board which break out all the Pico GPIO pins and add extra pins that can be used to pair sensors and other electronic devices with our Pico. In our case we added 5M LEDs to the Pico W GPIO pin. Anode of these LEDs are linked to GPIO 0, GPIO 15, GPIO 16 and GPIO 17 while the cathode of all LEDs are connected in parallel and then connected to the ground of Pico W. Also for the detailed build process of this project you can check out this project page which you can find in the video description. The ultimate result of this build is a functional Morse code translator device. that can be operated via a web app or by using the onboard key mechanism to input morse code which will be displayed via the leds using this device one can access the web page and translate whatever the message they want to enter into the enter message bar and then click the submit button which will start the translation process the led blinks in response to the each letter in morse code Please let me know if you need any additional information about this project. All the documents, file and code are included in the project article. Link is in video description. In addition, we appreciate PCB way support of this project. Visit them for a variety of PCB related services such as stencil service, PCB assembly service as well as 3D printing services. Thanks for reaching this far and I'll be back with a new project pretty soon. Peace out.